Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner and this is a continuation of installing Windows 7. We now uh, got away from that pesky camcorder and we're actually working with some um, screen recording software now so we can capture this and uh, post it and it looks a lot nicer. Now we're going to talk to you about a little bit of uh, post configurations of your Windows 7 install. We installed it, uh, it looks nice, the desktop came up good. Now we want to talk about what's a few things you need to do as soon as you get installed. The first thing you need that I like to do is click on the start button down here, go to my computer, right click, and let's go down to properties, and then left click. And I'm sorry if you already understand left click and right click, but some people don't. Um, a right click, if you think of this, a right click will always give you a sub menu, uh, some kind of menu that you can do something left click of the mouse always executes something so I just want to throw that out there for uh, anybody that's really new with this first thing I like to look at is my device manager and the reason I go in here is we're looking for any exclamation points but this Windows 7 is pretty amazing this computer I built this computer probably about a year ago and um, it found every single driver that I have in the computer uh, sound drivers, network drivers, really kind of blew me away. Sometimes you're going to have a driver, let's say this display adapter. Now I have this, um, you have the Radeon X1650 series driver for this display uh, adapter. What that is is where your monitor plugs into your computer. If you have an exclamation point, all you have to do is right click on here and do update driver software and then left click. Now this is what I like to do is search automatically. What it's going to do is Windows 7 became very very good at searching for drivers on the internet. You just search it and automatically it's going to look on the internet to see if there's any better drivers. And as you can see here it says the best software, uh, the best driver software for the device is already installed. So it's already done. I knew that because I didn't have any exclamation points. But sometimes you'll come in here and there might be an updated driver so maybe you check in here every now and then just to see if there's any updated drivers and updated drivers I'm talking about the uh, video drivers themselves now once we do that uh, you see you got all your drivers set up the next thing I want you to look at is this product key activation we talked about during the install Let's see if I can see right here it says Windows activation it only gives you three days yeah, it says three days till automatic activation. Activate Windows now. I don't like taking a chance with my software. I purchased it. I know it's ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to click on um, activate it now. And uh, activate Windows Online now. Hopefully if everything works out, it'll go through your internet connection, hit Microsoft servers, say, hey, hi there, you're genuine. Look, it only took a second. Uh, we're up and we're off to the races now. It says... Uh, Genuine Microsoft software, we're ready to go. Works great. Click on close on that. And now we have that set up and ready to go. We're activated. We have our device manager. We know that everything's set up there and it's working really nice. The next setting I like to do on a brand new install of Windows, once this is all done, I want to close this. Uh, wait, the work group here says, see where it says um, work group? You want to check this because if you have multiple computers in your house, all your computers have to be on the same network. Now what I mean by that is they all have to be on the same group name so they can see each other uh, or make it easier to see each other anyway. Click on this change settings and we're going to just change this work group. My home group you know, I don't like default anything because if somebody walks in your network and plugs in and their computer says work group, they see your network. Mine is called home group. So if you ever break into my house, plug into my network, um, or pick up my wireless, change it to home group and you'll see my internal servers. Um, I'm just kidding. But uh, a lot of security on my network uh, through the wireless, which I hope yours is secure. But it's called home group. Click OK. And it's going to give it a second. And the reason I do it, like I say, is all my computers in my house is named Home Group. There, it says Welcome to Home Group. Uh, you're going to have to restart the computer before uh, uh, these changes will take effect. So now I have to leave it up there for a minute. 
uh, so I can stop this recording. So that is some preliminary post-installation stuff that you have to get done, folks. Check your device manager and also make sure your Windows is activated. Even though it's going to try to automatically activate in three days, what the heck, just activate it. Hope you've enjoyed this short video tutorial of post-installation of Windows 7. And I'm going to come back here with another video to show you how we can uh, assign our drive letters and how to format that last partition we created. We didn't format that during the install. So I want to make sure you understand how to do that. So I'll see you back here in the next video of installing Windows 7 with me, Jack, and Jack's Tech Corner. Thanks for watching and bye for now.